Okay, well, why don't we take his holiness's advice and do Tara? So he said green Tara, did he? He did say green Tara. Okay, so why don't we do a little meditation, get some courage from this. So we just imagine, if you're not familiar with Tara, that's okay, just imagine in front of you. She represents, you know, there are three essential qualities of the Buddha. One is uh, compassion, that's Chenrezig. One is wisdom, that's Manjushri. And one is power or action. And Tara is one of those. So she's the embodiment of courage, optimism, power, action, success. You know, we all need that badly, don't we? So we just imagine in front of us this blissful, radiant, green light body. If we're familiar with her, that's fine. If not, just imagine this pure energy, all made of light. And she's sitting on a multicolored lotus. Her left leg is drawn in, like in meditation, but her right leg, and this indicates her action energy. She's sitting on another little multicolored lotus, and she's sort of in this posture where she's happy to hop up to help. Her action energy. And she's holding in her right hand a, a, a Nupala flower. But you know, her right hand is on her right knee, palm up. And her thumb and her ring finger are holding the stem of a blue Upala flower that blooms at her right ear. And her left hand is at her heart and the fingers pointing up and holding the stem of another blue Upala flower that blooms at her left ear. And she's very beautiful looking, you imagine. If you've got a spiritual teacher, you imagine that, that the mind of your Lama is manifesting as Tara for your benefit, to give us courage, you know. So we just imagine, keep it very simple, we just imagine from her heart, she sends this powerful, powerful blue light beams of blue light that enter into our heart and completely fill us. And we imagine, first of all, let's just think like this, imagine purifying all the, all the negative karma we've ever created since the beginning of this time that is the source of any of our suffering, completely purifying it, the causes of suffering, and completely purifying all our body, purifying all our sickness and our bodies, we imagine this, and completely filling us with full of blessings of courage, of optimism, of compassion, and uh, power to act and just keep going one step at a time, completely full of this, all this light pouring from Tara's heart into our heart and filling our entire body. We imagine this. And we can just sing Tara's mantra. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Swaha 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 Imagine full of all this blissful light, completely purifying us, filling us with courage and confidence. So now we can imagine all sentient beings throughout space, surrounding us, above us, behind us, below us. We imagine now Tara again sends, you know, this um, light from her heart into, into us and every sentient being, completely purifying them, completely purifying all their suffering, all their sickness, giving them courage and confidence and the power to act appropriately. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Swaha 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 Everyone, the whole universe, full of this radiant energy from Tara, full of blessings and health and courage.
So now imagine she just d dissolves into green light and this, this pours into all of us, completely filling us. And then we dedicate, as Ramachay says. Um, anyway, these other practices, but then we dedicate with the two little, our two little dedication prayers. The compassion prayer, may the precious body, the precious supreme body cheetah not yet born arise. May that arisen not decline, but increase more and more. And due to this virtue, may I quickly become a Guru Buddha and lead all transmigratory beings without exception to that state. And we can just sing in Tibetan. Chang chub sem chog rin po che, ma kye pa nam kye gyo chig, kye pa nyam pa me pa yang, gong ne gong du pel ba shog. Kye wa di nyu du dan, lama sang gye dru gyo ne. Okay, everyone, much love.